Okay, really quickly, I just wanted to pop back in the video and show you guys the type of shampoo and conditioner I was going to be using on my hair to try to get this red color out. Not name brand. I have never even used these um, products before, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, these are the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to be using. Silkiance Salon Series New Advanced Pro Formula Hydrating Shampoo with Pro Vitamin B5 and Avocado Oil. And then this one is the New Advanced Pro Formula Damage Repair Conditioner with Soy Protein and Essential Amino Acids. So let's see how this stuff works. Be back. So I'm back once again. I am a tad bit disappointed. Of course, the hair color that I use to color it, the particular shade of red, which um, I believe was Spicy Red from CoverGirl, I think, maybe. No, Dark and Lovely, Dark and Lovely. Um, it is semi-permanent. So it's going to take uh, like several, several washes for it to come out. And this is the finished product. After washing, you can see that it basically has a little bit even more red tint to it than it did before I washed it. And um, the, actually the shampoo, I liked it even though it's on the budget end. I got it from Dollar Tree. Uh, smelled real good. It lathered up pretty good for the first wash and then the second and third wash just like instant lather it was real smooth real silky i really liked it the conditioner was nice my hair feels really soft which my hair always feels extremely soft after i wash it anyway whether or not i use conditioner but yeah you can see there's a little bit more red tint that you can tell than the previous video um, so a little disappointed, so I'm going to have to probably do the red color tomorrow when I go to color my hair, which is a, like I said, a different shade of red. I think it's vibrant red. Um, I really was looking forward to going back to Honey Blonde. I really liked the way I look, but I learned my lesson from previous experiences of using Honey Blonde when you have any kind of red still left in your hair. It does it more of a orangey burnt oranges color and that's not the color that I really want so I'm gonna just have to do another red uh, hopefully that red is does come out a little bit more brighter than the red that I currently have in my hair which I said was spicy red and I'm gonna do vibrant red tomorrow so until then bye good night Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this video was supposed to be recorded yesterday, but got tired and other things came up. So I'm just gonna do this quick hair transformation of coloring this to the dark and lovely um, number 394, Vivacious Red. So hopefully this is um, comes out a little bit more like a brighter red. Then what I did, which was the spicy red about a month, uh, between one or two months ago. So I'm just going to mix this stuff real quick. It's the cream developer and the Fay resistant rich conditioning hair color. Do that real quick. I'm not going to make this video long because I want to get this done. Um, very long day. So, mix it really quick, and then I'm going to go apply it, and um, go from there. Check in, and then, of course, show you guys the final results. Until then, I'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to come back really quick. This is what it looks like all mixed together. Now I'm about to um, apply it. I may show that part, and I may edit it out. And then, you know, come back while it's going through its changes. And then once I'm done with that, you know, I'll wash it out, of course, and then show you guys the final results. All right.
Did I find my ear? And on my foot. And on my bed. I'm pretty sure I got some on my bed too. I'm gonna squirt some oil on my back, you guys. You probably see it drip everywhere. That's one thing I don't like. I think I've done this color before. And um, it's the exact same thing that happened back then with this color. I don't have this trouble with the any of the colors, which I only do like the spicy red. I've done the black or the Jet, jet black before and then of course the color that I really wanted to do which was the honey blonde um and then also with this one by it being already such a dark color it's gonna be really hard to tell when it gets to the red that I'm looking for yeah I'm getting it everywhere guys but <clears throat> I want to make sure all the edges are completely colored. Got a little moving a little bit. Close I got some on my eye. <laughs> I don't care about like getting it on my forehead, on the back of my neck. That's because then I'll know that all back there, the nape of the neck is completely saturated. So you're not missing any. You're not missing any of the hair. I normally do this in the bathroom, but I just thought for this time, because I have a mirror like right here. So, you know, um, because I can't really see anything without my glasses anyway, but I'm pretty, I've colored my hair several times, you know, since being a teenager. And then even with these gloves on, you can kind of feel that everything is you know what I try to also use all of it I don't care about getting it on my forehead or nothing so I just want to make sure everything is covered <laughs> I'm working in real good. I usually, um, like with the spicy red that I did, I let it stay in my hair for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and it still didn't get to, it got to a really nice red, um, but it still wasn't as red as I would have liked it. So that's why I, you know, I went ahead and picked this up. And I'm hoping for a little bit more red color. So I'm going to finish just doing this and adding any more that's left. And then I'll check back in with, um, just show you real quick if we can see how it's turning out. And then, like I said, show you the results. Hey guys, just popping in. I have set the timer for about 10 minutes. As you can see, the actual color is still very dark. So I don't know really what's going on up under there. Um, 
Then, like I said, I set the timer for about 10 minutes. So I'm really at maybe about 13 because I stayed there and um, really worked it through for about two to three minutes or so. So I may let it go another 10 more minutes and then wash it out. I don't want it to get too bright red, but also would like it to be red enough. So check in and see what's going on in about another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, <clears throat> getting ready to wash it out. Coming up on about, I um set another time for an additional 15 minutes. So, in total, it's been in my hair for probably about between 27 and 29 minutes. So, coming up on the 30-minute mark, which is what it says you can leave it in there for, for natural hair, Um, which naturally, you saw that my hair was natural. Um, So... Hopefully it's red enough and not too, too red, which as you can still see, like it's so dark. You can't tell what is going on up under the hair color, but I'm about to get ready to rinse it out and show you the end results. Hey guys, it's the finished product. It says a little bit more red than what it was. Um, honestly, I'm not that happy with it. I probably could have left it on there maybe another 10, 15 minutes or so. Cause this is about um, as red as it got when I did the spicy red. So, yeah, I mean, it'll do. It's okay. It's not, you know, half red and half my natural color anymore. But yeah, I could have left it on at least another 10 minutes. Mm. But yeah, I think I probably won't pick that one up again because like I said, with the color being so dark itself, you can't see what's going on and how red it's getting or not getting. So, it'll do. But uh, I'm getting ready to, you know, put the moisture rich conditioner on and tie it up, lay it back, lay it flat and all that stuff and put a little do-rag thingy thing on it. And call it a day away from midnight turn up hashtag dirty 30 coming soon hours away so comment down below if you would like to see me try a texturizer next i never done a texturizer in my hair before but i've been thinking about it since i do keep my hair short and for the most part my hair is naturally curly so i was thinking about doing a texturizer so comment down below if you would like for me to attempt a texturizer um, in the future also like and if you haven't done it subscribe hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video when I post until the next video which should be between um, I don't know when I'm gonna post it but it's gonna be probably a series of time over the weekend the dirty 30 turn up we'll see what happens till then guys bye